Hey, 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 okay. Thanks for tuning in. If you're here, it's because you're curious about the uh, Canon T6i creative kit uh, that they have. Yeah, I've been wanting to check this out for a while because I'm using a GoPro for my videos. Everything I've pretty much been doing has either been with my iPhone, a GoPro, or a flip camera, which is really outdated. This is a flip camera. They came out, God, I don't know how many years ago. I'll have to check and put it under me right there. The files it makes are really small. It's fine during the day. It sucks at night. Hopefully this is better. All right. I don't think this comes with any kind of bag. Hopefully I still have my old 35 millimeter camera bag laying around and I can swap it out with this. So you've got standard advertising brochure with a bunch of buy this stuff from us. Empty box. Put that over here. So I'm not sure if I want to keep this yet. This is awesome, but at the same time, I've got other things I need to be spending my money on. Oh, okay, it comes with a memory card. That I did not know. Okay, this should show you how long it's been since I used a standalone camera instead of a phone. A one gigabyte SD card, a one gigabyte SD card, and a 32 megabyte SD card. That's a long time ago. So we've got a not for resale Rode mic. This is one of the main things that I was interested in. And we've got the camera. Let's uh, start with the camera here. And you've got all your standard paperwork. Wow, that is a very thick instruction manual. It's half English and half Spanish. Pretty much half and half. You can see half Spanish, half English. Doesn't seem to have any other languages in it. You've got to uh, register your camera. You've got a CD, DVD, software manual, Mac and Windows. You've got a strap, a USB cord, which will not work with that. Your 18 to 55 millimeter lens. A battery charger with a little flip out thingy. A battery with a little QR code on it for some reason. You know, they should have included a second battery. That would have been pretty cool. Because I have no idea how long this lasts yet. So I'll report back later with that. Last but not least, the body. got uh, a super rubbery grip right here and right here it's got a mic port right here on the side it just opens up like this and what else is in there oh for like a remote control for doing time lapse or something like that it's got HDMI direct out it looks like right here as well as the USB right there I don't know if you can see that or not is that sort of hard to get back in it's got a screen that flips out and flips around so you can take a picture yourself. It's got a really cool texture on the back of this. It's like a flat finish, which is cool because fingerprints aren't gonna get on it at all. I have not got the windscreen for it yet, so I need to see if I can find that online or somewhere local maybe. I wonder if Best Buy sells them. This is what I'm very interested in. A directional mic. Boom. The cable to hook it up to your camera. Oh, that's interesting. I thought these were aluminum from all the pictures I've seen, but they're plastic. They're just super bendable, flexible, cheapy plastic. So this slides off, and then you put on the fluffy windscreen over that. Keep some of the sounds of the wind and other noises that are a little softer from recording, in theory. This is a, a directional mic, so where it's pointing, 
is where it gets most of the sound. It's not like it's going to pick up as much sound over here and over here as it would up in front like this. Battery cover is on the bottom. All right, well, let me set it up, and once I get it set up, I guess I'll switch to filming the rest of this with the camera. So I'm messing around with it a little bit. I don't know what all the settings are yet, but on a few of the settings, you get the flash does this little buzz sound and does like a pre thing like that. I don't know if you can tell or hear it. Let me see. I assume that's intentional. That's supposed to be like the thing that gets rid of red eye. So the uh, screen is touch screen. Stabilize. Oh, there's a stabilizer in here. That's cool. All right. I got to read some of this and I'll be back. This is the GoPro with the built-in audio and the Canon T6i at the exact same spot. They're the same distance. This is zoomed out all the way with this one. And that's, well, obviously there's no zoom on the GoPro, so you've got this huge lens and that's how far it is. You have to cut in to be able to get closer. This one, this is it unless I get a new lens. This is as far out as it's gonna go. Um, it's sort of cool because you could, uh, Kind of with the camera is you could reach in and do this and you got a pretty damn good picture if you crop in on this one it gets grainy and fuzzy so this is hooked up without the road mic i still have the road mic so we're going to try and see what the difference between the built-in audio as well as the directional road mic works compared to the gopro mic over here I keep seeing this go out of focus. I've heard the 80D and the 70D have a killer focus system. This one lags a little bit. Zoom in. This is in full auto right now. I think it's in full, yeah, it's in full auto mode. I've grown, been growing this out, yeah. I'm probably gonna shave it. Like, when I get back from Colorado. Oh, yes, Colorado. Look, I'm looking at that instead of this. That's gonna be something. It has that side screen that flips around. I can see there. I'm centered, so there's no reason to look there. I'll look there. Let me hook this up and I'll be right back. This is me talking normal with the Rode mic pointed right at me. With Regular GoPro sound. This is me talking normal. Uh, if I raise my voice, which is, this is normally how I speak. I want to have the GoPro because it can't pick you up worth anything. So we'll see how this sounds now. Hopefully this is worth the money because it's, it's not a cheap camera. This is, I decided on this because the, uh, other one that I read a lot about was the GX7, I think, which is a point and shoot. And this was about the same amount of money as the point and shoot. And to me, I'd like to do a lot of other photography than just this video stuff. So this seemed like the better uh, buy for the buck. What am I supposed to do? What do you mean? We're going to go to the store. Am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Kitty's in the chair. You did something different with your beard. What do you mean? Did you trim your mustache? Yeah. You over trimmed it, I think. Did I? Let it grow back. It gets really fuzzy and I don't like it. Back. You look like, what's his name? Hellboy? <laughs> the big red you have devil? Like that, yeah, it makes it look like your jaw's really super square. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we leaving? I thought you wanted to go. I need my purse. You all this complaining about wanting to go, wanting to go, wanting to go, wanting to go. Now it's time to go. And you're not ready. Where are the hell are my keys? The autofocus is slow, slow, slow on this. But if you push the button halfway down, it focuses it again. Say that again. The roof of my car is moving. Yeah, I'm curious how this picks you up from that far away, you know? Oh, especially with the volume that I speak usually? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's cold. Can we turn the heat off, please? Mm -hmm. It's having a really hard time focusing. It's really hard hold this. I thought you were going to... What are we comparing right now? I'm Am I supposed to be recording? Filming us. Filming yeah. us? Mm -hmm. So that's as far out as I can hold it. Now film this door. Turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. 
Do <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, so we're headed to the other store because this one has barely anything. Don't hit the. I'm not gonna hit the pole. <laughs> all right. You're so cool. No, 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 I'm not at all. Super. But you know who he is. Who? You. Sean Oz. Sean Oz. Do you know who I think I am? I know who you think you are. I think I'm nobody. But hey, you're Hellboy. So you grow your mustache back. It's really hard to hold it and do the self -filming. Yeah, we need um, definitely a way to hold the camera. Because you freak me out with that thing. Whoa, don't drop it. There's a horsey. Oh, and it's got lights. Yeah, you've got lights on them? Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. There he is. That is a Christmas horse. Do you feel like a little kid? Hey, look at the horsey. You're weird. I got pee. Okay. You do it. You do it like we like it. I don't know what to do. I just eat it. Yeah, you do eat it. <laughs> That's probably plenty. All right. <laughs> what? Did you get more ranch? Yeah. Yo, what is up? I like that too. That one's that awesome. That's, yeah, that's Yeah, that's plenty. 747. I think I have the same camera. I just don't know how to use it yet. I just got it tonight, so I'm out just goofing off with it. Yeah. Is that, where am I, face? What did I do? Oh, is that right. better? Mm -hmm. Does it look better? Yeah, you are. It's heavy. When you do all this, it becomes, it's a lot heavier than the GoPro. I guess I could have flipped the thing around, but I only had like three or four nachos so far. Ooh, I stopped somewhere on the way home. You get a treat? You get know what? Yeah, that milkshake or something. The hot fudge in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. GoPro sound. Canon road mic sound. The Canon doesn't have a light to show me when it's recording. Oh, it's recording. Is it recording? Yeah. This is a dumb idea. We should have got burgers. I look for some. Let's go, go get a burger. You want to go to McDonald's and get a hot fudge honey and a burger? Hot fudge Sunday. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. People just look at now. Now they look at me really weird. They're like, "What is that yeah, guy doing?" They do look at you super weird. Getting the beer and watching us eat the entire time. Really? Like every single time I looked up, he was like. I don't know, maybe he, he wants to know who we are. Maybe maybe he thinks we are somebody. Do we look like somebody? You said that I look like the dude from Hellraiser. No, no. I said you're Hellboy. 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 So yeah, I look like somebody. Somebody. Okay. We're trying out the camera. So far, pretty good results for being dark. So hopefully this mic is kicking some ass as we get in the car here. Here you go. We're gonna head back to the house and uh, check this footage out and see how it worked out. It's really cool talking normally instead of having to yell into the damn microphone. I'm grumpy because that was like a snack. I've had a bowl of cereal today, we're on a date, and I want some food. That's all I want. There you go. I want some food. Okay. So here's the... Good. It's definitely harder to film in the car with this. I imagine. It's huge. Yeah. I'm red. It's huge. Can't get us both in at the same time either. Look, like the GoPro gets, definitely the GoPro is the way for in a car. Uh, except for the audio sucks. Just got back from Best Buy and we picked up a Gorilla Pod, which, you know, I've had this little generic Gorilla Pod that I use on my uh, GoPro. And like I said, it's not a name brand one, and it's super loose and starting to fall apart. So I was a little on the fence about getting one that cost 
eight times as much. It was uh, $59 on sale, $44. I'm using it right now to hold the camera up to film this. It's pretty nice. We did some filming out and about at night with this camera, the Canon uh, T6i with the road mic on and a couple of shots with the road mic off to see if there's a difference. Um, this is on and this is off. So now it's using a built-in microphone, so we'll see the difference between that. Uh, I know the mic sounds good, so I'm going to plug that back in now. And it's back in, so we'll see if there's any difference there. I'm talking rather softly, like myself, instead of having to scream like I do for the GoPro. Uh, so far, the focus definitely seems to mess up and is a bit slow sometimes for video, uh, but overall, the auto seems to work okay. The cool part is the rest of the camera features. I am extremely excited to flip my way through this book and relearn everything I've forgotten since I took photography in college. I'm not sure exactly how this worked, but it has, it has Wi-Fi. I haven't gotten that far in the book yet, but I'm not sure if that's just for bringing things from that into my computer, which would be pretty nice, especially since I'll be unboxing this shortly, and all it has is USB-C type ports, but that's for another video. For now, um, I'm enjoying the camera. I'm probably going to keep it. I also like the Gorillapod, the Adobe Gorillapod. That seems pretty nice. Uh, maybe one day I'll upgrade to the aluminum one, but for now, that one seems pretty good. I'm going to go play with this. Appreciate you guys watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I've got a weekly vlog I do. I also do videos with art and tattooing and airbrushing and tons of drone videos. So if you like drone footage and drone stuff, go over here or here and subscribe and uh, click like and share it with your friends. Appreciate it.